oh, both of them just relentless. I mean, they had the will and they did not want second place. Bud Leonard befriended and raced against both Al and Bobby Unser, and from their early days lapping the old tracks in Albuquerque, he and everyone else there knew they were destined for greatness. Yep, headed for the big time. When they got there and they won, Bobby was the first one to win, this town didn't really understand what that was. It was like the Kentucky Derby. It, w it was the race. Indy was it. Bobby would go on to win it two more times, Al Sr. would win it a record time four times, and Al's son, Al Jr., would win it twice for a total of nine wins for one family. But those winning habits started right here. Albuquerque was the main starting place. Between my, myself and my brother, we won all the races there, which was really good for kids that young. Al Jr. also grew up racing locally before he went on to the big time. I was blessed to be able to start my career at Speedway Park, which was on South Eubank there. And the old Albuquerque Raceway, which was uh, down in the, the South Valley, we raced there and it was a great beginning. The old tracks only exist in memory now, but these old photos serve as proof of Albuquerque's racing heritage and for other racers like Bud Leonard, who competed against the Uncers. It was just beyond belief that he had gone from where we are, we were all at to where, where he stood at that time. They too are connected to greatness through friendship and competition. Eric Green, KOAT Action, 7 News.